realistic character that's a little less edge guardable. However, these like falling back airs will be useful for these lower tether recoveries and stuff like that. I can see him going either or here. I'm sure Retro Picks clearly has a comfort pick in the manor, and apparently that's Pokemon Trainer at least to start out the set. <clears throat> Game okay, versus Retro. Right. Here we go. Both these characters have been like in the spotlight for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Spilet has always been the one where it's like you're able to do like a lot of things and Leo definitely is like the big kind of beacon for Bob yeah. but also PT you know he had Quid was yeah. doing an amazing job there but also people kind of just remember yeah we used to play that character and was a menace with him exactly. <laughs> yeah but, Tweet, Tweet's PT was awesome but it's, now we're back on to here both these players uh, in this area Spurly switched to Charizard with all that pressure being thrown out there here comes a down throw oh unable to get a ball up though great deep high from Inca in order to get away Flamethrower doing the best as they can. Retro going deep for that in SD. Wow. You know, I like to see the edge guard on the low recovery there against Violet. However, that's rough. Uh -huh. Especially yeah. against Maguka. Because you do not want to get this player an inch. Otherwise, they're going to take a mile. Right. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. That's what Bob's kind of does. You, you, they wait for you to whiff like that. Like, the Nair is just such a strong position. But here we go. Trying to get away with it. The retro trying to get an F tilt started, but great tech. Oh, wait. Maguka. Doing an amazing job keeping onto the stage control and stage advantage. Just throwing out there and just like keeping that spacing, knowing that the F smash is definitely a huge factor that you have to watch out for. But there we go. And trying to throw out the arrow, but it doesn't come in time. Retro Prick shielding out the Nair, but whiffs the Nair of his own, trying to get it out of shield. And this side special, it was the sweet spot, barely stays alive. Maguka trying to chase it down, but Retro now has to stage control off their own, but they have to take the stock to parries from both ends. Coming in in the dash tag, not enough though, but the fourth though, can he get the edge guard? Swings Ooh. back instead. Getting a bit of a reversal off stage there. Good confidence from Maguka. Retro picks. Oh no! Don't let it okay. be you. Maguka's been getting too many down yeah. smash it's shield kinda, breaks this tournament. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's just one of those things where, fine, you're comfortable shielding against me. Okay, here you go. It's slow, but, you it's know. It's slow, but, like, it's surprisingly, like, no. It's slow, but it can be hard to react to. Uh -huh. Also, especially in hyper situations, because, like, not necessarily you're looking for the down smash. Mm -hmm. You're like, okay, I got to make sure I attack in the right position and see what option they read. But, you know, because shielding is just such a good defensive option. It's just that Violet's down smash just so much, and it was fresh. And Maguka right now is having no trouble dealing with the size of Squirtle, even though Squirtle's a smaller character, kind of something that might be more difficult for Violet to hit. Maguka's been showing a lot of confidence and even keeping Retro Picks off Squirtle a little bit and onto the Ivysaur. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like that you have to you have to use your fair and bare a little lower to the yeah. ground. And I like the usage of the Nair instead. Because yeah. it's just a, just a wider hitbox and has a really amazing landing hitbox as well. There we go, rolling away from the down smash. You've got to be careful of that one. Unable to get a raise lift conversion, but the up air from Maguka is doing an amazing job. Look at this play coming in from both players, but there you go with the huge lead. Retro getting a follow up with the up special, almost got a kill, and but gets hit with an arrow on the way out. Yeah, that up special, such a shame that it didn't quite connect. This is such a big deficit to be at if you're retro picks. Yeah, I mean, and also Charizard is so good because you're able to secure the kill really mm -hmm. easily, but like now it just makes, you know, Meku's job easier being able to get a lot of conversion, a lot of easy hits, and the fourth throw does kill, but 132%, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you stay Charizard just trying to get something done. I think, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Retro pick, something um, that I've heard him say to me a lot when we've played is that when he's behind last stock, he's sticking on Charizard and he's trying to cheese. Man, that's what you gotta <laughs> do, right? Yeah. Something, but like, I wouldn't feel too bad if I'm retro, because like, yeah, I mean, you SD'd really early. Yeah, but no, that's true. you're still able to bring it back to that last stock, so. Honestly, I forgot about the SD there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to remember that. That's it out there but going on to small battlefield we'll see if he switches on to P P Pichu but I think staying on the Pokemon trainer is the best way to mode and there we go yeah. Retro staying on top staying on top of Pokemon trainer yeah I think the only way we see the switch to Pichu this step is if Retro gets absolutely devastated this game too match was going I don't see that happening currently Retro starting on Squirtle 
Yep, shields it out there. Here we go. This is the first time that Retro really got a combo started, but it got mm -hmm. cut off there. But great adaptation, though. The catch and landing dash attack from Enku not going to be enough. And I love the usage of the water guns in order to fight for that stage control. This is good 46% off one whipped up B from Maguka. Maguka finding the grab, <laughs> opting to go for the tech chase with the to, beefy downer. To end this man's life. Yeah, yeah, he, want, he wants to end his career. But back here into up B? Yeah, that was a really good conversion, mm -hmm. though. And Retro trying to stop it there. Wow! Oh, he's going to die for it, though. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's the best trade, but it makes you feel good. You know? I think that's what Retro wanted last game. And maybe that's him proving to himself, I can drop low, and I'm going to kill you yeah. if I SD. But it's like it's such a huge, like... I don't know, maybe you feel so on, like, you feel like you're so scared of Megaku because you know their ability yeah. to, like, get it. You have to, like, shut down the stock immediately there, but, you know. We'll it's definitely unnecessary. Uh, we'll see if it bites him back. Yeah, definitely unnecessary. Retro did have the lead in that first stop, opting to go on to Charizard so lightly early in the stock here. A lot of people, uh, the reason why a lot of people get hit there is because they're trying to parry the last hit in there yeah. before the landing hitbox. And great stuff by Retro, though. Got it! Yeah. Retro's edge guards and ledge trapping with Charizard have honestly been really solid throughout yeah. these two games. I get something down empty. Huh. Bear doesn't connect Ooh. the sweet spot. Definitely not going to be enough. Here comes the recovery force to use the flare blitz. Oh, thankfully the roll in gets punished, but it wasn't the sweet spot. So Retro picks will stay alive. Oh, I love that. The empty hot. Maguka tried to react to it, but the the, the falling up there yeah. is what gets it instead. A threatening it once more, but trying to parry the last just just a little off of the time. Really patient Charizard right now from Retro picks, finding another falling up air and keeping this advantage state off of that. Maduka's got a re-grab ledge. Mm -hmm. Off stage. Gets it done. Retro doing an amazing job with this pressure, but gets thrown off stage. Gotta watch out for this attempt. The armor, oh, doesn't take it. The Lemaku stays alive, catching the roll, shielding Ooh. it out there. That could have been a better punish, but again, that damage off teaching on this ledge. This ledge trap from Retro is phenomenal right now. I love this pressure, but there we go. The empty hop this time gets called out by Maguka, knowing that Retro has tried it two, three times now, but and gets called out with the F tilt. Can't count Maguka out. No, 100%. Even though for a second there, it felt like Retro was saying to Maguka, I dare you, hit a button. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Try me. I got this ledge trap. But Retro on the ledge trap once more. I love this perfectly spaced flamethrower, though. Oh, well, you got to be careful of that bear. That was perfectly spaced where you couldn't get the shield, grab out of shield, and that's definitely something that Zara players really want to look out for. Yeah. Maguka possibly getting a little too kill happy late in this game. You have to remember the character and the player you are going mix, against. He tried to mix it up there, but misses an opportunity. I love yeah. the adaptation, knowing that, yeah, I've been empty hopping, but also you've been doing the medium options. Maybe I can adapt to it, but the F tilt sweet spot thankfully takes it and retro picks takes game number two. That barely caught Maguka's jump with that F tilt there. Like, if you saw, it didn't even look like the tail was touching oh, Violet yeah. at the end there. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say if I'm, I'm I, like, even that, I'm not feeling comfortable with that win. Yeah, like, no. I mean, you gotta keep in mind, Retro Picks had the ledge trapping sequences of his life that game. Yeah, that was like a minute. Yeah, Makuka was not able to get footing for, like you said, a solid minute. But still gotta feel good about that. Still, Retro Picks looking like he's beating himself up a little bit. I'd love to know what's going on in his mentality right now. I'm not saying that you maybe could have been cleaner on it. Yeah. But, you know, you still gotta hold on to that, especially if you're gonna get Smanguka. But both these players, 1-1. One, one. Not to see. And this might be the first game where we see Retro Picks not go for an insane deep edge card for stock. There we go. Goodness gracious, 61% unanswered, but gets away with it. The Nair, the spot dodge back here, but gets called up with the Violet's Nair of their own. Look at this spacing. I love this Maguka. Often go for the stage control and retro force onto the Zard. Back throw into forward air, going to get a nice little 25%. But Maguka is in clean control of this game right now. This is sheer adaptation we are looking at right now, folks. Yeah, thankfully, oh, Retro with the siding out to a little bit of perfectly spaced flamethrower once again. That's what that's the value that got you know a lot of oh my Ooh. god. If they delayed the down smash just a little bit, that could have hit, but oh, Retro gets away with it and has, has teched away twice now. So you want to keep that in mind, especially if you're Maguka. A lot of people have those kind of patterns and times right there. Oh, Goodness, you gotta be careful. Get up attack. Does not get punished. The falling up air, but gets called out once more. You gotta be careful jumping on top of Meguka because they 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 get they've been seeing that all this time, and now Retrofix finally gets punished for it. But you know, finally when you're able to realize it, 
you know, Mechalux getting all this damage down, 38% yeah. and chasing down shields it out. Oh goodness, look at that empty hop into 60%. And still out of um a lot of the percent ranges that um a lot of Pokemon trainers kill confirms kill at. Like I don't think we're gonna see a Ivysaur Vine Whip kill Byleth at 86% right here, mm -hmm. which is not a good situation to be in if you're retro. Getting a vet trying to mix up the recovery, calls out the jump. Here we go. Gotta be careful because retro, you don't wanna be doing a jump now. Now you're gonna be forced into a neutral get up position. Now here comes the mix up. Does retro do the same thing or gets Ooh. called out once again? Yeah, Maguka doing a good job just calling out those back-to-back -back neutral get-ups, getting the beefy grab and then getting that down tilt into the up air kill confirmed. Doing an amazing job. Parry. Thankfully, parries out the up B and now Maguka opting to force that shield and Retropix punches with a grab. Punching it out there, but it hangs onto the ledge for a little more. Gotta be careful of that, but you can't be re-grabbing the ledge. Mm -hmm. Really good ledge trapping from Retropix once again, but he still has a full stock deficit right now. This is a lot of ground to make up. For real, and especially against Begu, who has been consistently getting the punish out. I love the assist of the water gun. You gotta be careful. The got antsy with it, calls it out with the upbeat. Switch comes into play, thankfully. Ooh. Saves it out oh my there, God. and the sweet swat back here takes the stock. We're Ret even. Retro picks finding the nasty Charizard back here. That's going to be a a lot of momentum and confidence, I feel like, in the favor of Retropix's mentality right now. Getting a string, and all of a sudden, Retropix is in the lead. Granted, it's only about 20%, but it's something. Uh huh, but the upbees have been missing on Mikuka's end. Here we go, calling it out. Love his confidence. This is Retropix. This is something new we haven't seen, but instantly hitting back. You gotta be careful. Gets Meguka. They have to perfectly spaced out, forcing Retropix away, but the fair. Catch up a little more, and we gotta switch. That Razor Leaf getting punished with two. Maguka forward airs coming out. Retro opting to get back onto the stage with the drop off and the vine whip. Just trying to find a way in onto Maguka. These razor leaves, they can be kind of dangerous since Maguka can punish them with just this long hitbox that he has with fair and back air. Here comes the Zard. The, the, the character that has been paying dividends for Retro yeah. in this set. Retro Zard has been absolute robbery so far mm -hmm. within this game and Retro Zard's ledge trapping has been insane as well. Mm -hmm. The cross up. Oh! Throws it out there. Will he die? No. Magnuka stays alive. 123%. And now you have the whole rage factor in order to come up with in retro picks. Oh, I love this usage up there. The Nair catches Ooh. out. Definitely wasn't expecting such a fast option, but retro. Oh, no! Oh. no, 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 no. It's home. I think retro just hardly didn't jump out of that. Oh, Damn. no. You gotta be shook. Yeah, retro's. Yeah. Retro's comeback probably went to the mentality after he got that charizard sock he was like wait a minute i can win this game it can't be good it can't feel good to be shut down like that yeah, and especially with the fake kill yeah. screen that just happened mm -hmm. it's just great yeah but like the thing is it's like you have to be so careful because both charizard and violet have that mm -hmm. have that x factor of being able to just completely rob a game and you know that that's what exactly what just happened my goodness well i'll tell you what i'll take the fake kill screen out of zard up b over them falling out of it any day that's true <laughs> but oh, this is an interesting stage pick both oh, these characters can really benefit being on smash Bros. yeah you know both the characters are kind of gonna have insane tech chases on that middle platform i feel like i mean it's not just that it's just yeah. that the kills can happen so fast on this stage. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, but you know, Retro, he was getting the early kills. So maybe he's confident in his ability to kind of cheese out some of these stocks, mm -hmm. get some of these aggressive and even, dare I say, greedy punishes to work and fit for him. And he just doesn't want another Zard upbeat to redline and knock him. Mm -hmm. There we go. The follow up from Mega Good, though. You got to shake it off if you're Retro. Mm -hmm. Meguka. Doing an amazing job so far. The Nair catching out for a little more damage. Oh, I love that Ooh, cutoff yeah. on the recovery. Retro. Oh, but that fair was so smart. And wow. there we go. Retro takes an early stop. No! Yeah, Maguka kind of having to fast fall to get away from Retro there and just dropping too low, not being able to get back. Yeah. Not able to do anything, but the fair catches out for a little more damage. Parries it out there, but try to catch it with the up air, but mm -hmm. fortunately does whip it. But the perfectly spaced fair Retro. Oh, that water gun. I feel like Retro hasn't been getting as much mileage out of his Squirtle as he has in like general against other matchups and other players. But just as I'm saying, down air, good punish from Retro there. However, Maguka's finding his way backstage. Will Retro be able to get mm -hmm. off the ledge here? Perfectly angled. 
stock to take, especially at that degree of the game. Finally gets it, and speaking of that falling out of the up I mean, that's kind of what happens, though, because the hitbox is really consistent, especially yeah. with that little angle that was mm -hmm. happening in the armor. The retro picks, you gotta hold on to this, no. Oh, thank goodness, I thought Nasty was gonna cop it, but reacts to that one, gets back onto ledge with that Nair Megu Cuff. Forcing it back on there, that, oh, what the Razor Leaf doesn't get punished as much as what I would have wanted to see, but retro picks, bang alive. Feeling like we blinked for a second and all of a sudden it's almost an... Power of Violet. Right? Yeah. You gotta be careful. Absolutely. Sorry. Oh no, big body though stays alive. Luckily, rolling into that, not going to get sweet spot mm -hmm. by that dirty Violet F smash. Yeah, but you go, you gotta be careful. Just re retro knows if he gets a stock taken here, it's gonna be huge. Solid forward tilt from Maguka there. Getting these ledge traps and these edge guards retro, not being able to get back on stage right now. Down tilt into up air is going to connect. It's to confirm if retro doesn't shut this out fast, I'm worried about the state of the game. Yeah, this can be bad. Especially 100%. if you're on Zard right now, reads it out once again. Finding the back air, the drop down back air. It's been so good. Yeah. Retro Zard is carrying him yeah. this set. It's been amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, catches on there for a little more damage. 31% on Maguka, trying to use the water gun to get a little bit of the space and stage control back here into the another back here for a lot of damage. Retro doing an amazing job walking the patience, the bear to punish out Ooh. the whiff. Maguka off stage though in a dangerous position. Thankfully gets back, early space back here once more. The pivot grab into the up special for a little more damage, but you can't get too thirsty against Maguka though. This is such good neutral from Retro Picks' part right now. Doing the swap, getting back onto Zar, but now he's gonna have to get juggled by Byleth finding a way back onto the platform, oh, but that no. is not an stuck, easy platform stuck, to get stuck off of. It. Yeah, it was yeah. stuck and got punished for it. 92% right. trying to cheese it out for a little more, Ooh. but gets the get up attack called out. And that is going to be it. 3 1 in favor of Megaco. Retro picks, I feel like he was thinking, all right, I'm going to get this dirty Zard kill that I've been getting, kind of thinking aggressively. And in a way, I feel like that mentality got him to do that get up attack right there. I mean, it was just, it was like working fine. And like you said earlier, that like Retro had like, yes, really good neutral, mm -hmm. but it's in those few instances where you. Over, over commit mm -hmm. on an option and that's exactly what happened there. Maguka was able to 